Hello, it's Dominique. Today I want to present you uh, the album I made uh, for Rosa Kelly. We're having a swap together and uh, we have uh, some criteria. So I'm going to talk to you about that after. First, I want to show you that uh, I use the lavender from Prima Marketing Paper Collection. This is the uh, pretty much the 9 by uh, almost 12, 8 and a quarter by 11 and 0.7 inches. And also I had the 12 by 12 that I had uh, maybe 12 sheets of. So I used those uh, almost completely and some of these. So they have really nice design and I still have quite a bit for more projects. So as you can see they're double sided so there's a lot of nice paper in here. So I've got some there. So, um, so our swap was uh, about making an album. It had to have three signatures attached to the spine. Hers were was a little bit, I think it's a little bit wider but shorter and she has three inch spine. Here I have three and a quarter and um, also we had to have um, like I did some, I put some criteria there. Um, uh, we need to have a pop-up. She wanted to have a journal book that is, uh, we can remove it from the album, like it's not attached to the album. Uh, we need to, lots of spots for photos and uh, it was either vintage or shabby so I picked vintage because I really like making vintage I'm not very much into shabby too much lace I like when it what it's when it's done but to be inspired to make it uh, I rather make uh, the um, the vintage and also the criteria we had uh, I had I asked so that we could have like if you have a pa a page you just don't go with the one sheet of paper as much as you can you can have a couple but not all of them like you have to have some work in it like I distressed with ink some pages I distressed with a little tool the Tim Holtz uh, distressor and also uh, I have pieces like puzzle pieces like three or four pieces on the page so a lot of work in there so that it looks nicer more professional. So here, uh, this is the front cover. So I used uh, a lot of Tim Holtz stuff, okay? So I have Tim Holtz frame here, Tim Holtz hand uh, knob kind of here. And here I have this, a few, uh, I think this one I got at Joanne from the bead to strings. Uh, here I put some flowers. I added a little bit of sticker uh, stickles. Another flower here, a little spool of thread. This is the color of thread that I'm using inside for one of the interactions. Here I made a little glass bottle. I put a dove feather and then it has a little pearl in it. A few paper uh, flowers with some uh, uh, flat back pearls. This is a little comb. This is from uh, the, the veneer from uh, Bella Rouge. So I use that comb here and I put a little bit of stickles here. And I have some flowers, I mean leaves and flowers, and here I have, no, and here I have uh, pieces of doily. Here I have used some uh, tea dyed um, cheesecloth. I use a lot of stickles, so everywhere you have flowers, especially on the front page of an interaction, like the top page of the interaction, I did a lot of stickle, stickles. Uh, I used three different colors, so two pinks, and then um, one is kind of pink copper. The other one is silver and the other one is pink, like vintage pink. Also I have a couple of veneer pieces here which I have added some stickles as well. I have a piece of lace and a piece of ribbon on top and I've done some um, distressing uh, on the paper. So that, and this is Mod Podge so it stays like that, it won't fold. And the back is like this, the same thing, so some of this uh, torn paper. And this is uh, one of the cards from the paper collection that I have popped on a piece of chipboard. Some flat back pearls and same thing here. Here I have two ribbons coming out. Those are uh, double sided uh, satin ribbon. And it has the nice fabric here that I like working with. I, make, I think it makes such nice books. I always use it when it's appropriate to the theme. So I'm going to go inside oh, here the chain. So here I have a uh, ribbon with a little uh, this was a button I cut the back of it, so I just glued that there. And here's one of Tim Hole's uh, pins here, so I attached a bunch of uh, ribbon and hemp string. This one here I put one of the, I think it's time to travel chipboard piece that I 
covered with uh, paper from the paper collection that I distressed also. Throughout the book I distressed with uh, walnut stain. This one here has a little uh, metal um, heart. And I have a chain here. It has a few things like movie, movie machine, movie uh, cameras or whatever. And this nice one has nice uh, blanks on them and lock. And this is Tim Hole's little frame. So I put two little girls, like she has three daughters. And I thought, I don't know if there's three, but I think there's only two in there. So she can peel this when, she's, uh, when she gets it. So let's go inside and see what it looks like. So I have a lot of pages there and I went a little crazy on the first uh, signature. See how big that is? Oh, this one. It was that big. I said, no, I cannot do that on the front. I was going to be putting that on the front here because this is thick here and this is thick here. So there's no way that this would uh, kind of lean because I have my uh, signature uh, <laughs> uh, hinge system where you have this folding part here. So it would have been too thick. It would have gone like this. So I decided to put it in the center. Also, it was taking so much room in the spine. I said, I'm not making like three pages like this. It won't fit in. So I decided to put it in the center and have two uh, thinner, smaller uh, interactions here. So the first one here. So here I made a pocket with one of the, um, the cards. Uh, I mean the cutouts from the paper collection. I kept two little cards here, distressed again. And this is the inside, so she can put two little photos here. It goes in the pocket. And I've put some uh, Tim Holtz um, paper clips, mini paper clips, a little bit everywhere in the, in the book. And I have this thing here. I put it here, but she can put it wherever she wants. So here we have this uh, page here. So this is magnetized. It opens like this. On this side here, she has a photo mat, 4x6, I think. So she can tuck something here. And here she can put two little wallet size photos she wants to, but uh, I would leave it like that. And this opens and she has two spots for photos right here. She can tuck that photo underneath. Another one of uh, paper clips. These are the hanger shaped paper clip from Tim Holtz. These are, like I counted, all the sizes of the photos. She's got over 105 photos that she can fit in there. And a lot of photos already have the gusset uh, for the space of the spine. So in the spine or in the on the interaction. So it, if she adds more, it won't add as much space. It won't take as much uh, space on the spine. So bulkiness, you know. So she's gonna be good. So here I made this little interaction. It's uh, interesting. It's made with envelopes. So here she has this envelope here. She can put a photo here, a photo here, and she has this uh, pocket here. Same on this one. If you want to know how to make this, I just made a tutorial how to make this interaction. And it can have them like here or here or one on each side, whatever you want. But I decided to make this that way. This is a little fan I made, um, like a rosette, but just like a part of it. Could be half, but I did like two, uh, one third, a little bit more than a, uh, a quarter. So this opens like this again. So again, photo here, photo here, photo here. Same here. Now we get into the bigger envelopes. See a photo, photo, and this one opens here. So she can put stuff in there. And I put a, a mat. I had a little piece of um, paper that was left over and I thought it would be nice for journaling. So if she has anything to journal within this uh, interaction, she can do so and just uh, store it right here. Also what I've done, so this is the end of this one. Also what I've done is that I have made a, an on-page pocket on each cover. So here you have the on-page pocket with the card in it. She has this, you can put lots of photos, either four large ones or eight large ones, uh, medium-sized ones. And also what I've done is I've made one on this side of the page. It's like you have three here. So she has the on-page pocket here, same one that opens like this. And she has, if you can see this, yeah. Also, these are um, uh, pocket pages. So she has this extra one here where she can put more photos. So this is one per page. It's like this. Next page. So here I have this page, uh, uh, 
paper here. I put one of the cards and I put some stickles and some blings and a piece of lace right here. So you open this here and you have a pop-up card. So that's pretty cool. And I put some stickles here because uh, I thought that it was such a nice page that I couldn't leave just the bouquet without any stickles. So I put some. And what I like about this bouquet is that you have some pink flowers. So I put some pink sticker, uh, stickles. And there's kind of a gray flower. So I put some um, silver stickles. And I'll show you another one that I've uh, used here. I think I've used the uh, copper one. So she can put a photo here, and maybe if she wants, she can put two little ones here and four here. So that's adding more to her interaction. So that's that page. And then if I open it, it goes like this. And this is the mirror page of the first flap on the second, uh, third uh, signature. So here I have all these little cards with the butterflies. So. Uh, I put some stickles like this is gray. I put some silver stickles, and if it's kind of uh, yellow, I put the copper still stickles. And if it's uh, pink, there's a little bit of pink somewhere here. I put some pink stickles. So I thought it was nice because I wanted to make it look really nice. Here she has this little envelope. She can put something in there. It's supposed to be closed here. And she can put a little bit here. If she wants to. Also. I put a couple of uh, pieces of uh, pink uh, paper doily there. And here she can put another photo. I left that open here. And she can journal right here. And this is the back of it. I would put maybe a couple of little photos here. So that's that page. Now the center one is the big one. So here I use a lot of uh, lace and trim. And this is a little trim from Hobby Lobby. This too, this I had in my stash. This too, I don't remember who gave me this one. I have another one, maybe I'll use it in a, another special um, album. Tim Holtz paper clip here and some stickles here around the cards. I like doing that. So here you have a big, well, a booklet. So I put some stickles here. And I distressed all of this, three little flat back pearls here. So she has, uh, that's what I meant about putting uh, the, um, I call those incrustation. <laughs> it's as if you have um, put something um, uh, fine into the page, like not only the one mat or just the border and then one mat. So you have like uh, two, you have a card to uh, make it ni looking nice. Have extra space here that is just filling the, the blank here. This is uh, journaling and then a photo. Here she has a photo and journaling. And this opens again. So she can put two photos here. This is a 4x6 and journaling again. It's a cute card. It's easy to make too. So I thought it would be nice to have that in there. So this, when it's in there, what it does is that it, it holds those two gatefold doors uh, closed. So once you open them, so on each side you have these... Uh, Kind of um, tags. You can put a couple photos. I'll just put a little bit of uh, paper from the paper collection right here, and also this from from the cards. I have a little piece here, and I did a little construction here because the cards were small. I said that's okay. I don't have a problem with that because I'm gonna put more of the, the paper, and then I did uh, this on the bottom, and then here you have the waterfall cascade. Really smooth. One two, two, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, eleven, twelve, thirteen. Either thirteen or fourteen. If she wants to put one here, fourteen pictures on this one. Or thirteen. Thirteen altogether. Twelve or thirteen. So this closes like this. And put that in there and stays closed. Then this opens again. So this is a magnet. So it's the same page, just opening like this. Here I used uh, Martha Stewart uh, Heart Punch and what I did to make it like as if it was um, a shadow behind is I punched it into a piece of uh, black cardstock and then I punched it in here and I uh, on this paper and then I, when I layered them I just went a little lower like I leave the border always on my paper so then it's just uh, layered a little bit lower so it looks like you have the shadow there. So here uh, she can put, uh, there are two pockets with a nice trim here. And again you have this pocket here. And that one here as well. So a lot of photos in there. That's what she wanted. I said, okay, no problem. I have many interactions I can use to, uh, to fill it. Let's do that later. 
So then we turn the page on the back. So here first you have scars up with stickles all around and you turn this little Tim Holtz kind of compass needle or pot needle and you have again this here and another photo mat and she can tuck underneath here and then when you close that back then you have this ribbon here and then it goes like this photo mat journaling spot here you have another needle you turn it and this is a card that you can remove and put more photos and she can add one or two in there as well again I did the same thing with the black and then the, the print design paper with the shadow heart punch this goes in there and just close that back here and this opens like this again so again one or two photos she can have uh, two because she can tuck her, the, the lower one here and she has some journaling spot and this one too she can go like here this is not it's just glued in the center so she can have the little uh, pictures here on top of her photo and it opens again another large photo I think this is a five by seven these are half of them it goes underneath and here the same underneath right here and two photos here so that's a lot of room for the photos so that's this one and then we have kind of a repetition of the next page that we had earlier so same thing so a large photo here top here uh, journaling spot and then it has the she has the belly band like the other one I think I didn't say there was a belly band on the other one and then same little envelope and then doilies the same cards right here and on the back of that page she has a tuck spot or a pocket on the file so she has this cute little card or bag that I uh, got there's no one they cancelled them at the Hobby Lobby Two little cards that I distressed, everything distressed over there. So I'm just gonna not get them all the way down. And the little card that I distressed as well. And she has the big file. Just like, let me open it. This here. Six envelopes one, two, three, four, five, six. I didn't put any card in there because it was thick enough. I thought it was enough. And here is the journal section. So I made it in the back cover because I wanted it uh, to be thick. So I used some burlap here and I made this page and I used some black lace, a little trim, another trim here from my mother, it's really really old and then this is from Hobby Lobby and a little flower made and this little lady, this is lace, she's uh, dancing and then she's got all those pearls and blings. So this is the, the book, uh, the journal, made a little pocket with a couple of cards in there. I know that Rosa Kelly really likes to make shabby um, journal uh, junk journals or just journals so I got this one that I thought she would like to have the lace here so first I put the stickles here so you open it here have another pocket here and this is all tea dyed paper and I did some stenciling on some of the page every other page there's a stenciling of something and I put uh, some tea dyed uh, doilies as well paper doilies and here I put on each quarter so it has four sections of, of the journal that she can put uh, that you can uh, use to uh, as a book, uh, not bookmark, as a tab, and I made her a bookmark with this little piece of ribbon right here, and that goes back into there, and that's it for my book. So I had a lot of fun making this. I put everything that I had the best for my stash, and I worked a lot in it. I wanted it to be really nice, a lot of work. I think I put about 19, 20 hours in it. So, and I'm really quick when I work, so that's a lot of work, I can tell you. So there you go. So I will be receiving her book uh, probably today. And uh, so when I receive it, I'm going to make the video of her book. And then if you want to see uh, when I put her video of her book, I'll put the link of her uh, YouTube channel so you can go check her, her stuff that she makes because she makes beautiful stuff as well. So there you go. I hope she likes it. I like it very much and uh, I'm happy to see it go to her, even though I would like to keep it, <laughs> but it's okay. So uh, hopefully she will uh, really like it and it will make her happy, hopefully, like it made me happy to make it. <laughs> so thank you for watching and until next time, happy scrapping. Bye-bye.